Hello, my friends. Today, I would like to show you my solution on Problem 2 in India MO. This is Webpeak. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Suppose a polynomial p of x satisfies the following condition that p of cosine plus sine theta equals to p of cosine minus sine theta for every theta. Then we want to show that p of x can be expressed in the following form that each term is a power of 1 minus x square and all the powers are even. Let's see how we handle the problem. A natural idea is to combine the condition star with some trigonometric identities. The first thing I try is to replace data by minus data. But unfortunately, this get back to the same equation. After that, I try some different variants, and here is what it works. We apply the condition with pi over 2 minus data. In this case, cosine pi over 2 minus data is sine data, and sine pi over 2 minus data is cosine data. So this means p of sine plus cosine data equals to p of sine minus cosine data. Now if we compare this condition with the original equation, we get p of cosine theta minus sine theta equals to p of sine minus cosine theta. Since this is true for any data, we want to conclude that the polynomial p is even. We need to be a little bit careful here. Even though the variable data could take any value, the function sine minus cosine data could not take any arbitrary value. Indeed, sine minus cosine data is square root of 2 times sine of theta minus pi over 4. It is clear that this function only takes values between minus and plus square root of 2. This means we have p of x equals to p of minus x for any x nice in this interval. Now if we expand the polynomial p and write down p of x minus p of minus x, it contains all the powers of all the numbers. Note that this is still a polynomial, but it has infinitely many roots, so the only possibility is that all the coefficients are zero. In other words, p is even. Since the polynomial p is even, it is the sum of x to the power 2k, which is x squared to the power k. Now I'm going to use a trick by writing x squared as x squared minus 1 plus 1. Then by applying binomial expansion, each term is a polynomial of x squared minus 1. And this means that p of x is also a polynomial of x squared minus 1. Finally, note that cosine plus sine theta squared minus 1 is sine 2 theta. And similarly, cosine minus sine theta squared minus 1 is negative sine 2 theta. This means if we apply the condition star to equation 1, we get a polynomial of sine 2 theta equals to 0. And this polynomial contains nothing but the power of all the numbers. Again, using the infinite root argument, this means all the odd coefficients are 0 which completes the proof. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye bye.